The relation between alcohol and um, gut microbiome is very complex. So on the one hand, we know for a very long time that um, bacteria in the intestine, the overall number of the bacteria in the intestine is increasing if somebody drinks chronically alcohol. So if you drink every day like a couple of drinks, these patients usually develop like what we call bacterial overgrowth. And the second thing which we also know um, right for a couple of years now is that also the composition of the gut microbiota is now changing in a direction that probably um, leads to less diversity. The leaky gut hypothesis is essentially that the barrier essentially that prevents the bacteria and the microbial products, so these bacterial toxins, essentially to leave the intestine, this is impaired now, and this gets leaky. So now these toxins and also bacteria are now able to translocate, to migrate now, to leave the intestine, and they can now slowly migrate to the liver, cause a second injury, a second insult on the liver. Chronic alcoholism essentially leads to an impairment of the innate immune system. One of these features which we found is the antimicrobial molecules, the REC3 lectins, they are actually decreased. So what are these antimicrobial molecules? These antimicrobial molecules, they are essentially endogenous antibiotics. So the epithelial cells in the gut, they essentially produce these endogenous antibiotics to inhibit the proliferation of this bacteria. We have published that this deficiency in this antimicrobial um, REC3 lectins essentially causes not so much a change in the lumen, so in the, in the bacterial composition or the number of the bacteria inside the lumen. The consequence of this increased what we call adherent bacteria to this epithelial cell lining is that more bacteria now migrate from the intestinal lumen to the liver, where they can also exacerbate. Mm -hmm.